Okay, so we already know how to add force to the ball, but we don't want to add the force in the start function. Instead of that, we want to add this force whenever something happens. As an example, let's say whenever we press the space button on our keyboard, we want to add this force. Or whenever we touch our mobile device a screen, we want to add this force. Okay? So if we want to do that, then we need to replace it, reposition it from start to update function. And we need to give it a specific condition when we want to call this. So let's say, first of all, we want to do, whenever we press the space button on our keyboard, we want to call this function. So in order to do that, we need to take the inputs and we need to detect if the space button has been pressed. So if we want to detect input, then we need to write if and inside this if block inside this if condition we need to give it a condition input dot get key which will return us or we can also use input dot get key up or get key down in this case let's use input dot get key up so what that will do is whenever we pressed any key and the key is finally up after pressing that, then it will return true and then whenever we give here, we'll get called. So let's say input.getKey up and for the key, let's give space. So for the code for space key is this, key code dot space. Okay, so this way, whenever the space key will be pressed and then after that, that key will be up, then these things will get called. So I need to just cut this thing here and paste it here. So now whenever the space key on our keyboard is pressed, then this thing will get called. Okay, so now let's go and try to run this. So if I run this game now, as you can see, the ball doesn't go, but if I press the space button on my keyboard, 3, 2, 1, press. As you can see, after pressing the space button on my keyboard, now the ball goes and now it happens like this. Okay? So this is pretty good. Now one more thing we need to do is, as you can see right now, even if I move the paddle in the beginning, let's play the game. In the beginning, even if I move the paddle, as you can see, the ball doesn't move with the paddle. But what you want to do is, we want the ball to move with the paddle so that whenever, wherever we place this paddle, the ball moves to there and then we can launch the ball from the same position. 